For the second year in a row, a Hong Kong film has been nominated to compete for Best Documentary Feature at Taiwan's Golden Horse Awards. You're probably wondering, where can I watch them? Well, not at the cinema. But why don't cinemas screen these award-winning features? Let's talk about the Hong Kong films banned in Hong Kong. Since Hong Kong's legislature amended the film censorship ordinance in 2021, enabling the government to ban films deemed contrary to national security from being screened, some directors have given up releasing their works in Hong Kong. These Hong Kong films often gain attention and recognition overseas, but because they have not been approved for release by the city's censors, the films have almost no official footprint in the city. Then the film authority told HAFP that a total of three films were banned in 2021 and in 2022 so far. They were the first films banned from screening since the handover in 1997. We have looked through reports of film censorship in Hong Kong and found that at least 14 films have encountered problems when applying for approval from censors over the past two years, with issues arising before the law was changed. Some directors were asked to remove certain scenes, including those showing protests and the Taiwan presidential election, according to related news reports. Among the 14 films, five were related to Taiwan affairs, one was related to local pandemic measures, and six were directly related to Hong Kong social movements, including the Umbrella Movement and the 2019 protests and unrest. Most directors withdrew their application for approval after being required to remove scenes. However, two of the films were unrelated to any of the above topics. One was a short film by an emerging director, Esgard Wong. It was about a character who goes missing and whose name sounds familiar to a girl who went missing amid the protests of 2019. The second was a short by Antonio Tam and Tino Wu about corrupt prefects at a fictional high school. After Fresh Wave announced the cancellation of the screenings of the two shorts, Antonio and Tino's film was granted approval to be shown to people aged 18 or above. As guards remained banned. Come 
I did admit that uh, it has perhaps caused uh, some anxiety amongst um, the film industry uh, uh, practitioners. Uh, but one has to accept that rights and freedoms, uh, including the freedom of expression, uh, are not without restrictions. It is a matter of uh, striking the uh, needed balance between respecting creative freedom on the one hand, but uh, safeguarding uh, national security and safety of Hong Kong on the other hand. As Garth said, many people in the film industry have already left Hong Kong to continue their careers elsewhere. He was one of them. Antonio, on the other hand, decided to give up on film and now works for charity in Thailand. Uh 你你你種種面向都好唔友善,即係拍嘢固然好唔友善,但係你種香港嘅種種面向所有嘢都好唔友善。係一個長期係一個受壓迫嘅一個好hostile嘅環境嗰度,你先有靈感去創作㗎